We pick up our Bible study today in James chapter 5, verses 9 through 11. James at first seems to change gears once again as he gives instruction to not grumble with one another, as it's stated in the New King James Version. He also tells us that this leads to condemnation, as we learn from James chapter 5, verse 9. This too is a lesson in patience, as being patient with one another is reflective of Jesus. James then gives examples of those who demonstrate patience and suffering in their lives, and he tells us that they are blessed who endure through these times. James then lists Job as an example and tells of the compassion and mercy that God has shown to Job, as we learn in James chapter 5, verse 11. This is an example of showing true patience through suffering and keeping one's focus on Jesus. James hits another point here that affects us all, grumbling against one another. We all have times of disagreement with one another, which causes grumbling. Maybe we should concentrate on the punishment for grumbling, which James tells us is to be condemned. I'm sure that we would make a point of ours to actively seek to not grumble with one another. It's starting to become a routine for James to call us out on just how well we are being a reflection of Jesus. And I too am being convicted over what we might want to categorize as little sins. But the truth is that sin is sin, no matter how you want to slice it. And all sin leads to death and condemnation. The Apostle Paul tells us in Romans 3.23, and I quote from the New International Version, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But he also tells us, as the passage of Romans continues in Romans chapter 3, verse 24, And all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Dear Lord, sometimes it's the small things of sin in our lives that we overlook as being less important. But please help us to see that sin is sin and all sin leads to eternal death. Please help us to not live in the prison of these smaller sins, as we might call them, but that we would realize these sins in our lives and break free from them and confessing them to Jesus with a sincere heart and asking his forgiveness. Please help us to be a reflection of Jesus to all those around us and throughout the world so that we may be a true child of God and a reflection of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.